Welcome to our channel, if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and leave a like as it will help us to reach more people who need free educational and informative contents. Today we will be discussing about the managerial skills. First, let us understand who a manager is. A manager is the person responsible for planning and directing the work of a group of individuals, monitoring their work, and taking corrective action when necessary. In simple we can say a manager is a person who manages or is in charge of something. Managers can control departments in companies or guide the people who work for them. Managers must often make decisions about things. Now let us understand what are managerial skills. Management skills can be set as certain attributes, abilities, and knowledge that individuals in a managerial position should possess in order to fulfill specific tasks or management activities in an organization. According to Robert Katz, managerial skills are divided into three which are technical skills, conceptual skills, and interpersonal or human skills. First, let us understand what are technical skills. Technical skills are the knowledge and capabilities to perform field-specific, specialized tasks. These skills enable a manager to coordinate work, solve problems, communicate effectively, and also understand the big picture in light of the frontline work that must be performed. Employees expect their managers to have more technical skills than them so, if needed they can ask their help and guidance. In short technical skills can be set as the ability to perform the given job in an organization. The second managerial skill is conceptual skill. Conceptual skill is the ability to see the organization as a whole. This includes analytical, creative, and initiative skills. Conceptual skills help the manager to identify the causes of the problems and not the symptoms. It helps the manager to solve the problems for the benefit of the entire organization. Conceptual skills guide the manager to fix the goals and objectives for the entire organization and act accordingly. They are important because they allow managers to think and work through problems and come up with multiple solutions to complex issues. The third skill is interpersonal or human skills. Interpersonal or human skills are the skills that present the manager's ability to interact, work or relate effectively with people. These skills enable the managers to make use of human potential in the company and motivate the employees for better results. Without people, there will not be a need for the existence of management and managers. As managers, they are required to work with people and guide them towards the ultimate goal. The managers should understand, communicate and work with people in the organization. Human or interpersonal skills are the skills that present the manager's ability to interact, work or relate effectively with people. These skills enable the managers to make use of human potential in the company and motivate the employees for better results. Without people, there will not be a need for the existence of management and managers. As managers, they are required to work with people and guide them towards the ultimate goal. The managers should understand, communicate and work with people in the organization. Before continuing with the topic we have to understand different levels of management. As you can see in the diagram, management levels are divided into three according to their functions and duties. They are top-level management, middle-level management, and lower or supervisory level management. Top-level management consists of CEO, managing director, and president. They usually make decisions regarding long-term objectives of the firm and guide overall activities towards the ultimate goal of the organization. The second level is middle-level management. They usually link top-level and lower-level management in an organization. Middle-level management includes marketing manager, operations manager, etc. They are responsible for making short-term decisions for the organization. Next is lower level or supervisory level management. They include foremen, clerks, inspectors, etc. They are usually involved in executing day-to-day -day operations of the firm. Now let us understand the skills required at different levels of management. In top-level management we require more conceptual skills than human or technical skills. Conceptual skills tend to be most relevant to upper-level thinking and broad strategic situations. As a result, conceptual skills are often viewed as critical success factors for upper managerial functions. The key to this type of skill is conceptual thinking. And middle-level management requires more human skills rather than conceptual or technical skills. Hay must share information and ideas up, down, and across the organization in order to achieve their aims. As they connect top and lower-level management they interact with people much more than top and lower-level management. Human skills are required to work with people and guide them towards the ultimate goal. 
Unlike top and middle level management, lower level management require more technical skills. Technical skills are the knowledge and capabilities to perform field specific, specialized tasks. These skills enable a manager to coordinate work, solve problems, communicate effectively, and also understand the big picture in light of the frontline work that must be performed. Simply saying technical skills involve skills that give the managers the ability and the knowledge to use a variety of techniques to achieve their objectives. This brings us towards the end of today's lesson. Let us summarize what we learned today. First we learned about what is a manager. Then we studied about managerial skills and their classification by Robert Katz. According to Robert Katz there are three managerial skills which are technical skills, conceptual skills and interpersonal or human skills. Then we learned about different levels of management with examples and the skills required at different levels of management. Management skills are important because it will help the managers run the company smoothly and achieve the goals and objectives of the organization. If you find this video useful consider subscribing and leave your valuable feedback as comments as it will help us improve our videos and reach more people. Thank you.